Let me address that. Okay. I received a Glendora two hundred dollars cash for. How uh, yeah, now? first of all, this is a whole new deal. Yeah. Uh, for making dubs mm -hmm. from SD1 to four, three, three, five was the one that was on DVD. What was four? Four was on DVD quads, right? Yes, three, one to three. No, four. One to four. Five is the one that was lost. Lost, and four was, yeah, four was done in, okay, I did do four then. SD one, two, three, and four. Right, okay, one through four. And DVDs in place of SD five, which Glenn left behind. Okay, semicolon. Right. Uh, for how many to the YouTubes? Is it 12, 9, 14, and 12? I have it 40 if you want. Yeah, if you have it. I have it. Uh, and uh, 9, 12, 16, are you adding these up? Uh, 9 and 12 is 21, and 16 is 37, right? Are you with me? Yep, 37. And 12 is 49, and 12 is 52. 61. Is that so? 61. From 49 to 61 plus 12. So that's 62? Yeah. And 62 shows... Uploaded to YouTube. Uh huh. Two, and two. is it ten quads or nine quads? Counting Berkshire. Counting Berkshire. That's ten. And uh, one hundred and sixteen, hundred and sixty, one six zero. Dubs. As quads. Did you put a semicolon there? Uh huh. And another semicolon. Uh, and four shows per 36 TV stations. Yep. Those are the TV stations. Uh, and uh, for assistance on the JVC. Right. What else did you do? Did, no, I didn't do an archive. Oh, yeah. That didn't work. Oh, yeah, you sort of failed on an archive. Yeah, the archive didn't work for me. Well, it worked. You didn't. <laughs> uh, archive, yeah. I think that's about it, isn't it? I think so. Isn't that it? I think so, yeah. Because your job is... Those dubs are the lower of the work, yeah. Your job is the TV making station dubs. dubs. Oh, do you want to okay. put making the titles anywhere in there? It's part of making oh, the dubs. Oh, I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you want to save that for... Just a minute. Okay. I'll have that for you in just a minute. Uh, creating titles On the TV stations, wasn't it? You don't do them on quads, or I did them on the quads until you made them on DVD. But when you did them yourself, I didn't do it, obviously. But I did have the. All right, for uh, for creating titles for the TV station and, and some the, quads, and for the YouTube, the archives, the YouTube hour long. Oh, you did those titles? Yeah. Yeah, no, they were hour-long programs that went to YouTube that had titles, too. Oh, well, then, all right. Then On the TV stations and YouTube. And also quads, you said. Well, I, I realized in the end, this, the quads we sent away were the ones that you had done. I had done the ones for YouTube, but then... So you created quads. titles for the TV stations and YouTube. Is yeah. that so? Yeah. How yeah. about the contents for YouTubes? 
Right, that too. Oh, by the way, did you put up contents this week? Um, good on question. YouTube? No, they don't have contents. I'm going to leave those back and put up contents. You need the contents back. Yes, not, the not contents. these. Yeah. Contents are the wrong and will you please state the vote? Sure. I'm not getting mixed in with the others. You state on the left, left upper corner. What'd you do? Put it in the right? Yeah, I think I put okay. one of them on Okay, the well, the staple goes on the left. I pulled the staple out of the corner. Hi! I think your leg is better. Can, Devin, can you say anything wrong with his leg? It's Which internal, one? isn't it? Oh, this one back here is no, a little No, no, let's see. The left. Oh, is it? It looks like you were limping on that this one. This one right here. Oh, I didn't notice anything about it, no. It's internal, huh? Probably. Here, put those over in your thing so you won't forget them. Okay. Uh, okay, create. Last night... Well, she had her operation. We picked her up at 4 o'clock, Devin, Jane Dean, and myself. As you know, 5 o'clock, I just didn't think she was going well. I thought there was a possibility that she was failing. And 6 o'clock, she looked bad, and 7 o'clock, she looked bad, and 8 o'clock, she looked bad. 9 o'clock, she looked bad, and at 10 o'clock, Jane Dean wanted her in the house. The cats opted to go out even though it was raining. We have a very, very, very needy rain, need necessary rain. And so we came in and made her a bed of rugs and blankets. And she stayed in and the cats wanted to stay out. Sebastian's out, Dot Com's out, and uh Amadeus is out. Well, in the middle of the night, Amadeus cried and cried and cried to come in, and it broke my heart that I couldn't let him in. So we went through the night, and finally there was some sleep. And in the middle of the night somewhere, I looked at the dog, and the dog seemed to look better. She turned the right way, from death to life. In the morning, she began to look like the dog I knew. She refused food and she refused water. Uh, oh, by the way, around 6 o'clock, I did take her for a walk and she did urinate. And she urinated, uh, a long urinate. And that was good. But she hasn't urinated since. Well, she hasn't drunk any water since. I uh, fixed up a table of food. And also the litter pan uh, in the garage out of heavy rain. Heavy, heavy rain. And that's good. Much needed. And uh, Amadeus and uh, Dot Com went there, but not Sebastian. I haven't seen Sebastian since last yesterday. Ante Meridian, trying to keep up with the work, trying to keep up with reading about Buddha. He was so right, oh, he was so right about the sacrifice of animals. And Early on, he was right. Early on, terrible practice. Ugly. And so, after the walk and no 
urinating or BM. Uh, the doggy went into the 1980 Lincoln. The doggy was damp. Came into the house, put the heaters on. I uh, got dot com in and I got Amadeus in and I put them in the bathroom where they'd be safe from the dog even though the dog is too weak. And the most recent development is they wanted out of the bathroom. So open the door, put them onto the counter where the dog couldn't reach them, and they both opted to go under the sink where they do have a sanctuary where nobody really can get them. They do have that sanctuary. Dog looked at them. So I told the dog to leave the key cats alone. And now the dog is resting and healing. Why did Robin Hood rob the rich? Because the poor had no money. What's the difference between an old dime and a shiny brand new penny? Nine cents. Why does a bee hum? He doesn't know the words. A chat with Glendora for September. October is done. September events. October cable cast is done. Devin was here yesterday and he got paid two hundred dollars the first time he's got paid two hundred dollars and it was the first month of doing the SD method not the disk method the veterinarian bill I paid two hundred and ten dollars on the last one for things I never wanted and things that are totally hoopla and unnecessary and ripoffs the bill for spaying is uh, like two hundred dollars. It's terrible. I know what Buddha would think of that. Some nice phrases, so let me leave you with some nice phrases. I put them down here in the joy book. He was, even after he had become a pilgrim on the mystic path, he caught the attention of another king. His father was a king. Buddha's father was a king. He caught the attention of another king, and this king offered him half of his kingdom, and Buddha said no, that he had renounced worldly dominion. I want to renounce worldly dominion. Uh, no other, that he had no other desire than to attain spiritual enlightenment. Yep. Yep, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty desirable. And on some matters, he gained new light. Uh, the first instructor, he didn't agree with him because the first instructor said that the ego lives on and he didn't like that. Buddha didn't like that. And then the second instructor said something about the same thing about the ego lives on, so he left him. Then he went to the people who sacrifice animals, and he was, outra he was outraged with that, and he left them. And he spoke up against them. What is the book? The book is Men Who Have Walked With God, Published by Knopf in 1945, written by Sheldon Cheney. Great, great. The greatest of all people, the mystics, who have a relationship with God that is strong and philosophic. Counting the blessings today of 1998, 1999, 2000, 
2000 again, 2000 again, 2001. The blessings and rearing their ugly heads are the horrors. Crooked courts, crooked judges, crooked lawyers, crooked U.S. courts, crooked U.S. attorneys, crooked prosecutors for the county. The whole court system broken down. Justice murdered. Hey, that's not right. Think of the great blessings. The world kept going. The world in all of its beauty. Springtime, the Rose of Sharon, the hibiscus, Franklin doing good things, Franklin full of kindness and help, genuineness and peace, Franklin, good-natured complacence, Franklin taking the dog for a walk, broke his leg, recovery. Rescuing Rocky, the dog, a pit bull. Directionals. What's, no, that's the, let's we'll see, where's the windshield? Underneath the steering wheel. On the big, big round knob on there the left. There we go, I got it. I should have remembered that from yesterday. And your lights, you got your lights on? Yeah. This doggy loves Jane Dean. She's a good dog. I would take her. But Daisy May would not have it. No, of course not. No. Yeah. If I didn't have Daisy, I would definitely take her. Absolutely. Look at her, Jane, before you turn the corner. No. Look, no. I just wanted you to see how cute she is. How cute she is. Now, this is a busy time of the day, so. You have to look good and make sure nobody's coming. These could possibly be the last pictures I have of you. I must say you went through your operation like a noble dog. Like a dog of nobility. Don't you have room there to sit, honey? But Kevin is such a nice kid. Yes. He comes and helps you. Yeah. He was so good yesterday. In what way? Oh, I don't know. Kind and patient and... Yes, uh-huh. He's, you know, very mature for his age. He certainly is. <laughs> He got two hundred dollars for the first time. His oh pay was a hundred and fifty. Uh, and and this was the first time that we had done everything from an SD card instead of from a uh, a disc, a DVD. And he put twelve shows onto the YouTube for the week. He's done about 25 for the month. You know what, Vesta, this might need a gas filter. It's just a little inexpensive thing like that. I would have the oil changed and put loose plugs and gas filter in there and I'll check and it'll just run like a top because it has a good engine in it. Is that in your way, baby? Yeah, those things are in your way, aren't they? Yeah.
Little Orphan Annie. I hope she's finally found her way home, Vesta. Yes, I hope so. She's so pretty. She is. She's a beautiful animal. Look at her laying there. Yes. That was a great thing in the middle of the night when she looked up at you sort of the way she used to before she had the operation. She has such a good demeanor. Yes. Thank you for buying all those things. Well, maybe I could return them. No, you don't have to. Well, I think I should. No, you don't. I don't think so. That's no problem. They'll take them back. No, I don't think you should make a trip for that. Well, I go to Price Chopper every once in a while. How much was it today? Uh, over my order? Over a hundred? It was about 102. Oh boy, isn't it something? But I haven't been in a week and a half, and you know, vegetables, and I bought fish, and we eat fish quite a bit. I bought John some clams, he likes those. Two dog toys for Daisy, or not Daisy, um, my grand dogs for <laughs> Christmas presents. One is a tick and one is a flea. I'll have to show them to you. They're hilarious. <laughs> I usually get them little snacks and a couple of toys for Christmas. I buy toys for the cats and they ignore them. Well, these guys don't. They. They like those things with they play tug of war with rope and stuff and they play with all their toys. And they like their snacks, but How long have you known Dr. Johnson? Oh, practically all my life. Really? I knew his uncle uh, was another Doc Johnson that lived right next door to us down on Route 9 there. On the farm? No, right next to where Belargin's office is there. The doctor's office is on 9. The next house up, not the brick house. Oh, really? Thing. And that was Dr. Johnson's uncle? Where, where Patty's chopping block was, that was a vet yeah. clinic. That was a what? Veterinary clinic. Oh, and that was Dr. Johnson's uncle? Yeah. And we grew up with all those kids. Oh, really? Yeah, the Johnson kids, Gail and... Alfred, and there was another one. Well, they were... Nancy. They oh, were they, Merrill's they, brothers and sisters? Cousins. Cousins. Yep. Oh, and you grew up with them? Yep. They were the closest neighbors, and we used to ride horses and just have a good old time. Yep. dog has the best is the best demeanor. I just I just love her. Is she sleeping? Yes, and she's so cute. She's got her head up against her pillow. Oh. Now I really thank John Dean for getting that message to us. Yes. I don't know how he knew I was down at your house, but He knew. He must have seen me go by. Did you go anywhere besides Price Chopper? That was it. I went up to uh, Cumberland. Yeah. I didn't know what she meant by a bat. Well, anyway, she said there's nothing here. 
Well, that's, she knows what you meant. I Thank said, you. I said a bag for Glendora, whatever that means. She said, yes, I know. Yeah. She went in the back and looked and she said, no, there's nothing. For well, that's good. Yeah. That's good because you don't like to have it set, sit no. long. No. There's the museum over there. Oh, she's sweet. Look at her sleeping. Now, this is where we really have to pay attention. Yeah. Because this is a busy time of the day. here. You're not going in to be tortured, honey, and no. left alone. No, we're not. We're going to see. Just we're going to look up. these people over and see if you like them. And just see what's up. Hi, Linda. How are you? Good. How are you? So good thing. Sweet. You did a good job oh. yesterday. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, she came through fine. Yeah, she is so sweet. She's a little scared. Yeah, okay. she's a little. She has the most beautiful she's, demeanor. She's, yeah. I would be scared too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice kiss. I think that's a nice kiss. We don't have to check forever. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? How's everything? Good, good, good. Jenny's in Saratoga. Oh, she is? What's yep, she doing? Yep, she works with the uh, Russell Sage Library. Oh, okay. She's their library. Oh, nice. Annie. Nice. Annie. Hey, Annie. Very babe. nice. What Annie. do you think? Hi, so? you guys. Annie. 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 That's the name of her or well, orphan Annie. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, because she found her up at Cumberland Farms, a homeless lady. Yep, her. yep. Yeah. She wasn't a stray. She was just homeless. Everybody had been evicted, mm -hmm. and so they're going to send her to the pound. And that's when I said, "Thank I, you." I, yeah, that, that, was, that was really yeah, sweet. I know Linda oh, it's terrible. Take her. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I know the best that I've been looking after. Mm -hmm. She knows us, but she doesn't. Yeah. Well, she's secure with you guys. You know? Well, she, I, goes, I, she met me yesterday for the I first sweet. time. That's well. absolutely fine. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and after that, I'd be, I'd be uh, cautious too. Yeah. Hi. She's so pretty. Her coloring is so pretty. Yeah. She looks like a fawn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she is the dearest. Oh, the demeanor. I would take her, but I have a 13 year old. How many of them come in and want to see me? <laughs> Wait till she gets to know you. <laughs> <laughs> we spayed her yesterday. Or day. Yeah. 